there you have it it's official the ravens have placed the non-exclusive franchise tag on quarterback lamar jackson so lamar jackson is free to negotiate with whichever team he's interested in or and is interested in him as well um and so i guess those reports that came out a couple of days ago they end up being correct uh, about the Ravens strongly considering uh, thinking about using the non-exclusive franchise tag. They did it. They did it. Uh, and the way, I, I, know, I know y'all know already how it works because we have all talked about this a lot. But the way that it works is the team can sign him to an offer sheet. Lamar can negotiate with a team. They can come up with a deal. That team signs him to that, uh, that deal on the offer sheet. Ravens have one, two, three, four, five days to match it. Five days to match it. And if they match it, it's like, all right, Lamar, you're staying a Raven. All right, that's the deal they came up with. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. Or they can decline to match it. And they can give you whatever reason. They can say, oh, well, we just couldn't do it. Or they could just say, we're just not going to do it. They will take the two first-round picks. The, the team's 23 and 24 first-round picks. 2023 and 24 first-round picks. And it would be bye to Lamar Jackson. So we'll see. Now we just got to wait it out and see. We've waited this far. I mean, what's another? Who knows how long this next process is going to be now? Because now it all depends on Lamar. Now the Ravens have officially put the ball in Lamar's court all the way. Because... Now he can go talk to whoever, come up with whatever deal. And again, the Ravens could be like, yay, or they could be like, nay. Um, so I don't know, man. I, I, I do still think that this is going to end with Lamar Jackson not being a Baltimore Raven. I hope it doesn't end that way, but to me it just seems that way. Ravens willing to take a risk like this. And I mean, they, they, they did talk about Eric DaCosta came out and said it. And I believed him when he said that, when he said that, that they got contingency plans. They thought about all their different options and, and their business. So they have to do that. They have to do that. So I ain't knocking them for thinking about both life with and both life without Lamar. Because as a business, as a franchise, you have to think about those things. I just wish that life during Lamar, that the thought process would have just been a lot different. But that's the past now. We here now. We here. So... Now, it's just a matter of time. And I wonder how Lamar is going to pace this thing. I wonder if he's going to start talking to people immediately. Because um, this, this, is, this is based on his, his interest. Say, for instance, the Panthers. They hit up Lamar. They're like, hey, look, we want to sign you to this deal. This is the guarantee. Da, 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 da. Lamar could be like, yeah, okay, cool. Or Lamar could be like, no, no thanks. Say, for instance, the Dolphins, because the Dolphins have been a team that a lot of people have been talking about. Say, for instance, the Dolphins hit them up like, hey, Lamar, this is what we're going to give you. We can give you this much guarantee for this long and this is the average per year. Da, 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 da. Now, if Lamar likes the deal, he could be like, hey, Dolphins, I love that. But he would have to wait until after the draft because the Dolphins don't have a 2023 first round pick. And since the Dolphins don't have a 2023 first round pick, they cannot sign him to an offer sheet before the draft. So they got to sit this one out for now, at least. So it's going to be interesting how this thing works out. But again, if he does want to, if the Dolphins are interested in him and he is interested in them, uh, they would just have to wait until after the draft was over. Then they could talk all they wanted to because then it would move to a 2024 and 2025 first round pick that the Ravens would get for one Lamar Jackson. And then even a scenario like that, that would make it even more interesting because then we will be watching extra closely at what the Ravens draft. And if the Ravens ended up drafting a quarterback, then that would pretty much let us know, like, OK, it's over. But what if the Ravens didn't draft the quarterback? Well, I mean, again, so, so it, like I'm glad that we finally have something solid. A transaction has been made between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Well, the Ravens on Lamar Jackson because he ain't signed it yet. But um, it, it's not over. And it's not close to being over yet. But this is a step in, I can't even necessarily say the right direction, but this is a step in 
whatever the direction both parties are going in now. So, yeah, man. Like I said, risky business. Risky business. Uh, this could pay off in a big way for the Baltimore Ravens. It could work in their favor. If Lamar got a team that he's interested in and they sign him to an offer sheet and it, and it looks like it's friendly to the Ravens, it's something that they're willing to do, and it, it, it could be a great deal for them, for Lamar, for both sides. They go, oh, yeah, let's go. We'll definitely match that. But if it looks too scary for them, if it's something that they don't feel like is worth it, then, yeah. And if a team wants Lamar, then they are going to try to structure this thing so the Ravens don't match it. Because no team will waste their time signing Lamar Jackson to an offer sheet and coming up with a deal and, and, and constructing a, a deal if they really did not want Lamar. There would be no point in even wasting anybody's time. So, you know, whatever team signs them to an offer sheet, there's going to be somebody that's genuinely interested. Diana Rossini. She said that the Falcons, she said that out of the Lamar Jackson sweepstakes, she said they will no longer be pursuing Lamar Jackson. And initially I'm like, okay, well, that sounds good. That, that takes a team out of it. But then at the same time, I thought like, hold up, we, we've heard stuff like this before where a team is heavily interested in somebody and then they're like, ah, you know what? Nah, never mind. But then we see sometimes stuff changes. As we all know, things can change just like that. And a team ends up changing their mind. Circling right back. Oh, you know what? We actually are interested. So we'll see. But for now, at least, the Falcons are apparently out of it. But what teams are in? We won't know till we know. So waiting game again. Waiting game. Like I said earlier, we got this far. So I guess we can get as far as this thing is going to stretch itself out for. But um, one of the, the beauties about this whole thing is that when <clears throat> when Lamar does sign the next offer sheet, what, what, whoever he gets the offer sheet from, whatever the team decides it wants to be that team, whoever he signs it with, um, we will know within a little less than a week from that point if Lamar Jackson is going to remain a Baltimore Raven or if he is going to be out.